What's going on guys? Welcome back to our channel. This is Watch With Us and my name is Anthony. I also go by Watch With Me. I can be found on Instagram at Watch With Me or my own YouTube page, Watch With Me, where obviously I focus on watches, but a little bit of fashion, sometimes cigars, scotch, things like that, uh, and also cars. Um, wristwatch check. Before we get into today's topic, I am wearing my Panerai 312. This is the 1950s case. This is now a discontinued model. They replaced it with the 1312, which is a little bit thinner, but uh, something about a Panerai I feel like needs to be big and chunky. This was the first watch to have their in-house movement, the caliber P9000, and uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, enough of my watch. Let's get into today's topic. So today's topic is going to be a top five, and it's going to be on bronze watches. Kind of what got me thinking is uh, I've been wearing my Panerai a lot lately and it made me think of my favorite bronze watch which was the Panerai 382. It was released in 2011 and uh, in my opinion this watch is responsible for the whole bronze craze. So back in 2011 you really couldn't find many bronze watches. This was one of the first on the market and it's still going for a premium. This watch was brand new for 11,000. You cannot find this watch under $20,000 now. It's usually between $23,000 and $28,000, which is almost a 300% markup on this watch. But that's what sparked the idea of my top five bronze watches. We're gonna be doing it from least expensive to most expensive on the list, but it's gonna start at $700 and we're not gonna go over 6,000. So let's get into it. Number one, uh, the Magretti Mono Pacific Waterman. It is a bronze watch with a ceramic bezel from this micro brand, Magretti, which I happen to love. Uh, if you haven't checked out my channel yet, I just did a video on this brand itself. But this watch is only $720. It's a small, limited production. The movement is an SW Salita movement, so a very reliable movement. As I said, a bronze case. Uh, fits really well on the wrist. It's measuring in at 42 millimeters. It has a ceramic bezel with superluminova in the bezel and it's just a beautiful timepiece and if you're looking to get into a bronze watch but don't want to spend the premium that a lot of the high-end brands are charging, the Magretti Waterman is an absolute killer of a watch. The first production is going to be about 500 pieces and I would assume they're going to do a second run. So it's going to be very low production uh, and it's a great watch if you want to kind of get into that bronze kind of craze that everyone's into lately. So number two on the list is going to be Oris. Oris, in my opinion, is one of the uh, lower end luxury brands that I personally think is killing it lately. Now this particular watch is the Big Crown Pointer Date, the bronze edition with the green dial. I think that the bronze look with the green dial is the perfect combination of case and dial color. This one has a beautiful coin edge bezel. Uh, it's a very, very slim, smaller watch. It's gonna fit uh, guys with smaller wrists like myself really well. It's 40 millimeters. It comes on a beautiful brown uh, leather strap with no stitching, which again, I think tones down the watch and really brings the focus to the head of the watch. Uh, it has a Salita SW200 movement, just like the previous Magretti watch and uh, exhibition case back so you can see that red rotor that Oris is famous for. This watch does come in at a slightly higher price point at $2,000, but I think if this is the kind of price segment you're in, I don't think you can have a better watch for $2,000 that's gonna be unique on the wrist, uh, a different material than stainless steel, and just a, a very clean watch being that the date is on the outer ring of the watch and you have the pointer that's pointing to the date. So it's a very clean watch with the bronze look that's gonna age over time, that match that beautiful green dial really well. Number two on the list is gonna be the Oris Big Crown Pointer Date. Number three should be no surprise to anybody. It's gonna be Tudor and it is the Black Bay Bronze. They first released this watch a few years ago and just this year they came out with a new dial color. Uh, it is a slightly thicker watch. All the Black Bays in general, I think, are very thick uh, and they wear much larger at 41 millimeters. This one is a 43, so I think for someone that's looking for kind of that Panerai look, a very big, bulky uh, bronze watch, but you don't want to spend twenty, thirty thousand dollars on the 382 or some of the uh, watches that came out after that. The Tudor is a great watch. It is four thousand dollars, but you're getting a very reputable brand that's known for its reliability and holding value. 
It's, you're getting an in-house movement with a 70-hour power reserve that Tudor created. Uh, and you're also just getting a kind of a, a really cool diver watch. I personally like the newer version than the previous version, um, but either one is an absolute stunner. They are a little bit harder to come by than the rest of the watches on the list, which I think you can almost go into any retail store and find it. Um, but it's going to come in at number three based on its price point. I don't think any one of these are better than the other, but number three, the Tudor Black Bay Bronze. So number four on the list, and again, this is not based on what I like better than the others, this is based on price. This one's coming in at $5,000. This is the Mont Blanc 1958 by register chronograph. I personally, when it comes to a chronograph, a two register chrono with no date is my absolute favorite. This watch is slightly larger than what I would personally like for a chronograph. This is 42 millimeters, but I do think that that is kind of like my cutoff for a chrono. Um, this is paying homage to Minerva. Now, for those of you who don't know, Minerva is one of the finest watch movement makers in the world. Purchased Minerva a few years ago and decided to leave Minerva strictly with Mont Blanc. Now, Minerva, in my opinion, and many other watch connoisseurs' opinion, rivals the likes of Patek Philippe and uh, other high-end uh, movement finishers. They're a very high-end uh, watch movement manufacturer, and now they're owned by Mont Blanc. This is paying homage to watches from the 1930s that Minerva used to make. It's the only watch on the list that happens to be a limited edition, but I did some searching and you can still find this watch available. You can even find it on the secondary market under its retail value, which is $5,000. I just think it's a beautiful watch. Um, a bronze case, again, a green dial. I personally think that a bronze case and a green dial work so well with one another. That's why I think a few of these watches will have that look. It was even the original color combination of the Panerai uh, 382. But this one, you get the accents of the gold hands, which works well with the bronze case. It almost looks like a gold watch on the wrist. This is, as I said, a limited edition, but it's almost 2,000 pieces. They're actually making uh, 1,958 to pay uh, homage to the year that it's kind of replicating. So you can find this watch. I might even go ahead and say this might be my favorite watch on the list because I think it's a lot of value in terms of its design for the money. And I love the fact that it's bronze. It's it's not gold, it's not stainless steel, and it, it just makes it a little bit more special because it is a little bit more unique. Last on the list is the IWC Spitfire Chronograph Bronze Edition. Now this watch, I've got to try it on recently. It's an absolute stunner. I love that IWC decided to go with a 41 millimeter case size instead of its traditional 43 like they did in the past. So for me, I do have a small wrist. It fits very well. This one does house uh, an in-house movement. It's very close to a Valjoux 7750. You're getting a three register chronograph with day and date, but I think the dial layout, it works so well, and that's why they kind of replicated it, but made it their own in-house movement. Again, a green dial with a bronze case. I know we're kind of getting a little redundant with the, the color configurations, but it does work really well. This one does come in at the top of the list in price point. It's just over $6,000, I believe it's $62.50, but it's a killer watch. In terms of pilot watches, I don't think any brand is doing it as good as IWC, uh, maybe Breitling uh, with the narrow timer, but if you like a very minimalist look in a pilot's watch, IWC, in my opinion, is the best. So that is gonna be my top five bronze watches. Do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, leave a like. I do appreciate it. Kingsley is saying hello right now. Hey, we're filming. Leave a comment down below, guys. Let me know what uh, bronze watches do you like. Did I miss any? What about some other micro brands that I don't know of yet that make some really cool bronze watches? I would love to know. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and as I said before, you can find me on YouTube at Watch With Me or my Instagram, Watch With Me as well. But uh, until next time, guys, take it easy. Say goodbye, Kingsley.